guys so as you can see from that lovely intro we are going to god shot cafe what is it like god shot studio in shawlands which is in glasgow we're taking you to another glasgow place so that when you come and visit you will be able to see some new things um we have been recommended this place by many yeah. people so oh, definitely, definitely. we can't wait to try it i'll just show you a wee outfit of the day before we go in okay so this is my outfit for going to god to do just my trainers these comfy yoga leggings uh, with the flares you can see these on my tiktok and get them for a good price uh, just this wee hair band the tea the cardigan we've got just a wee necklace the earrings and we've got a wee love pinky ring and my pantaloon ring Lessons learned. <laughs> So I'm going to be starting off with the strawberry here. Um, that microphone really would have been an investment right, right next to the main road. Um, but I'll get, I'll get stuck in. That's really good. So I, I, I do get what you're saying, it's very puree heavy. I think that's because the straws are directly in the puree and when you do drink it, puree is all you get. I'm going to pull it up in a higher position and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, that's a much more kind of plain matcha flavour. I don't really know if you're actually supposed to just kind of mix it up. I don't know. Maybe it's preference, but um, yeah, you've got this really strong puree at the bottom and this uh, matcha at the top. They both taste great, but I'm not sure if you're meant to mix it or not, but um, I have enjoyed it. It's a, lot, um, it's a lot more sour than I thought it would be with um, the mango. The match itself is absolutely lovely, it's so like creamy and like it's not too earthy. Um, but I don't know, I think maybe the strawberry is my favourite out of the two. So yeah, I'm going to be starting off here with the mango. Once again, quite heavy in the, the puree factor, um, but when you, once again, when you pull it up, I think it's just, it's just straight matcha, um, which is good, which is lovely. Uh, there's also loads of dogs every time, <laughs> every time we're, we're, uh, we're filming here coming through so it's a nice any, place to be it's a nice place to be if you see any shaky cam from abby uh, because she's <laughs> trying to hold in uh, the urge to, to turn around and go pet the dog um but no uh, very good once again it is that separation factor i don't know if it's supposed to, to be mixed or not i don't know if it's a preference thing um but i think it would be interesting uh, if you were to so we did actually end up mixing them in and it's so much better. So much better. You taste the, the constituent flavour in a more balanced way. Um, it does actually taste like a, a mango matcha, a strawberry matcha, rather than just tasting like mango, then matcha. 
So and the puree is not as strong when you mix it in, it's yeah, more so, sour. So mix it in. Okay, so here we have, um, is it a chocolate pretzel cookie? I mean, uh, yeah, it's a pretzel cookie anyway, and a raspberry croissant, but they're both vegan. They had multiple vegan options. These were just the two that we picked, um, which is super exciting. And obviously the oat milks and the matcha make them vegan. So they're very like, and they had a lot of gluten-free stuff because the person in front of us needed gluten-free stuff. So they are so good for allergens, which is always a positive. Okay, I'm, so I'm just gonna break a bit off. Oh, there is more um, pretzel inside it. I don't have a bit of pretzel in this bit, but that's okay, I know what pretzel tastes like. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, it also has cinnamon in it, I forgot. So it's like a cinnamon pretzel cookie. And it is absolutely delightful. You're really gonna like this look. Um, and it also has wee chunks of chocolate like throughout the cookie, which is always a bonus because then you can really taste it. And those like flavors really come together, like the salt, of the pretzel, the cinnamon, and then obviously the sweetness of the chocolate. Oh, that was massive, massive segment. Um, you see, I take a bit of the body cookie there. Uh, if I don't like it, then that's a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> Exactly. That's exactly how you feel. <laughs> that is exactly. That is exactly how I feel. That's really good. So actually, I did get one of the pretzels inside. It's fantastic. So it's not what I would expect. I don't know what to it and I thought it would be a bit chocolatey um, but looking at it here there's a bit more of that kind of like malty cinnamon flavour um, which I'm a massive fan of if anything's malt, if anything's cinnamon, maple syrup all that stuff, if that's your kind of flavour profile this will suit you to a tea. Okay so in this you can see we have the jam inside which is always good we didn't know there was going to be jam inside so it's always a happy surprise jammy which we always love to see the pastry itself is nice and flaky so it's not it's not chewy at all like it's just kind of like i can't believe it's vegan it's that kind of way because you just bite it and it kind of melts in your mouth like the way like a normal croissant would do um, but obviously this is vegan so it's not made the same way but it's so good so yeah this is the vegan raspberry almond a croissant um, with it it's actually really surprising that first of all getting a croissant vegan is is really hard really hard to find actually we've been to a lot of places and they never have vegan croissant i think cafe nido is the only place that does it yeah so it's it's it's, it's far and few between um something that i really like is i actually said to abby before we were rolling here um odds on that they don't have jam in the middle like i was like I wish they would just put raspberry jam. See, whenever you get like a flavoured croissant, I always wish that it would be stuffed with something. Um, but I just thought, oh, it'll be a wee glaze on the top and that'll be it. But when it's actually got to this, very jammy. Um, but I'll just go into it, I'll stop talking. Yeah, that's great. Jam's really sweet. Um, the consistency is perfect and you would not know for a second uh, the difference between this and any kind of uh, regular croissant it does not get a compromised taste due to it being vegan it is utterly delicious so i really recommend this if you're coming here okay so we have this amazing side part as well so if you don't get a seat inside if you don't get a seat outside then they have these wee like movable tables obviously somebody has been here they give you the water and you can just sit around here if you don't yeah, get a seat well. it's cover, so and it's got lights as well yeah, so, like, so you can even come here in the cold times yeah, you just come, wrap you up like a, a worst day you know and if it's you know i don't know if you can't get sat inside which is very likely there's only about two or three tables in there yeah um, but you can actually get sat outside here yeah so which is good 
they have got they have got another table there that they could potentially put out yeah um but no it's nice to have options we're back in the car after having our Godshot studio cafe experience and um, we will be continuing to drink the matcha on our way home let's wrap up our points so absolutely great their inclusivity so mm -hmm. vegan gluten-free sorted um their options for stuff is quite good as well yeah like just in general they have a range like they have like cookies croissants cakes they've Macaron. got macarons they've yeah. got matchas they've got lattes they've got espresso like tea they've got like everything mm -hmm. and obviously their matches aren't just matchas they've got like the different flavors yeah, the, purees, the, the purees which is always good because like starbucks just now have their strawberry matcha but it's not inclusive because the foam stuff that the strawberry is is dairy whereas obviously that's a puree and it therefore means that you can make the drink vegan by choosing an alternative milk which is really nice and they've got loads of alternative milks yeah they do um and they can just make everything up to how you like it, which is also really good. The only issue maybe is the lack of space inside. Yeah, like I don't, I, it's, it's a very trendy deal. You'll have seen in the video, obviously, um, there's all that stuff, all those like little knickknacks that they sell. And I love that they would probably hate me calling them knickknacks. Um, <laughs> they, say, they sell all those, those, those little uh, trinkets things. and stuff like that and essentially it takes up the entire floor space of the the shop and yeah. essentially they've got these like two, two little tables, tables that you can get maybe three chairs around if you push yeah and, and you're like squeezing past the tables as well to go look at the stuff yeah so it's very very cramped um obviously like as well like we don't have the best weather in scotland we're actually having pretty good weather today yeah um but obviously like the outside seating there's, only, there's like two out the front that's next to like a main road yeah um, as you could hear from the audio and people are walking past and stuff yeah. like that and then obviously like they do have that little kind of shelter but it was probably a little bit better but yeah um, yeah so seating not ideal we also don't think they have a toilet yeah i never seen one inside when we were nosy and i don't know where they could put one to be honest with you yeah which is it's kind of a bummer because like i think we just stayed longer there if yeah. they had a toilet but me the queen of the toilet i'm bursting like i've drank yeah. too much water today so yeah. i'm ready to go to the toilet that's the only reason we're having to leave right now the weather is lovely so if you do get seated outside it isn't actually bad um whereas obviously in the colder months it could be a bit of an yeah. issue however overall it is definitely worth going it's definitely worth trying it out and giving it a go because it's good quality it's good for your money it's versatile like there's a lot yeah. of positives that outweigh yeah that like small if you, negative. honestly if you're like vegan or have any dietary requirements it is it is so it's so needed for you because we went and like abby has not i don't think you've had a croissant i haven't like, had a croissant in so long in years and mm -hmm. it's like they have like which flavor do you want yeah so that that's incredible and it's like the fact that the majority of their stuff is accessible yeah. is, is just incredible. Like, I've never went to a cafe and been able to get, like, a cookie. Like, the last cookie that I could get, like, at a thing is the pumpkin spice cookie out of Starbucks. Yeah. But, like, this is, like, a chocolate, chunky yeah. and, cinnamon. And is you so didn't good. have to get it. That's the thing yeah. that I'm really going... She didn't have to get it. She had so many options. There was another, there was a, like a tahini cookie as well that I could have got. Like, yeah. there was so much to pick from. Yeah, so and what, I'm sure in that little, like, display cabinet that uh, we showed as well that there'll, there'll, there'll be more, like, vegan cakes and things like yeah. that. So it's, it's amazing for options. It was mm, ah, very good. So let me know in the comments, would you try Godshot Studio if you came to Glasgow? If you're in Glasgow, if you're a Scottish pal, let us know have you been here and make sure that you like the video because it helps the channel and subscribe and join our family if you haven't already. Pop the notification bell on so you don't miss a single video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!